what's up guys learning with rich here in this exercise we are going to create and edit design options for our project and then after that i'm going to show you how to display the design options in 3d views so let's say for example in this project you want to have uh, several options or let's say you want to have a couple of options for your roof so as you can see this model doesn't have a roof so we are going to create a design option for this building so we will be creating two options for the roof so in order for us to be able to do that so we are going to use design options okay so which is uh, this one okay so let's create first our design option so let's click this one this design option you can also uh, locate it here okay so it's also the same Okay, you can click this one or you can go to the manage tab or you can and then you can look for design option okay so let's click this one okay so as you can see here we have one main model here so there are no options yet and as you can see most of the tools here are disabled the only uh, the only available option here is the option set create new which is what we are going to do so we are going to create a new option set so let's click this one and there's our uh, option set so i'm going to select the option set option set one and then i'm going to rename that one so let's click rename and then let's change this one to roof because we're going to create an options for roof all right so that's our roof and then for the option number one which is this one the option this one option number one so i'm going to rename that so instead of option one i'm going to make that complex roof or just simply complex okay so that's for my first option okay so for my roof i have an option set of roof and then i only have one option here so i need to create another option so i'm going to select here new so let's click new and then there's your option again so let's click that option one and then we are going to rename that so let's rename this okay so change that to so let's say i'm gonna call this single ridge and then i'm going to select okay there you go so i now have two options so the first is complex and then the other one is ridge so we are now going to edit the first option the first option is the complex right so i'm going to select this and then after that i'm just going to select here edit selected okay click that so we are now editing the first option so after you select edit selected let's close this one okay so since we're going to create a roof let's go to the level two that's that's the highest level okay so this is our level two so let's create now our roof here so let's go to the architecture build panel you can see the roof tool there click the drop down and then we are going to use roof by footprint okay so let's click this one and then after that we are going to use here the option peak walls okay and then for the overhang i'm going to change the overhang so let's say i'll just make that uh how about uh, one just one okay and then i'm going to okay so define slope there is a tick by default so that's all right so i'm going to hope up oh, one is too big so i don't want one so let me make it let's say uh just point one okay like that okay so i'm going to hover my pointer i'm not gonna click i'm just going to hover my pointer like that and then i'm going to press tab once okay so you pan first pan and then you hover your pointer press tab once and then as you can see it now highlights the connection of walls right so once you see it highlights you can click now to place your boundary okay and then after that select here modify so what i'm gonna do here is i'm going to click this line and then i'm going to hold control i'm going to select this line as well 
and then this line here okay and then after that you see there's an option here defines slope so I'm going to uncheck that one so I do not want to have a slope to this line this line here and then this line so I'm going to deselect here or I'm going to uncheck defines slope and there you go there's no slope anymore okay now the next thing that I'm gonna do I'm gonna use the split tool split element so I'm going to click this okay and then I'm going to uh, zoom in okay so let's say for example I want a uh, six feet okay so as you can see there's your temporary dimension so I'm going to type or I'm going to hover my pointer to this line here and then I'm going to type or I'm just going to pick there you go okay so I think that split is too short so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to undo this so I'm just I'm just going to pick uh, let's say somewhere here You see there's a reference line there so i'm just gonna click there there you go and then i'm going to select here modify okay and then after that i'm now going to define the slope so i'm going to select this line here and then i'm going to select defines slope like that okay so this short line that we just uh split from this reference line there's a slope so let's uh, finish this roof there you go so this is now our first option so let's check this one out in 3d view so this is how it looks like okay so let's say this is now our first option okay so that's our first option so what you are going to do to finish editing your first design option let's go back again to our design option and then finish editing that's it just finish editing okay and then after that we are now going to edit our second option so i'm going to select the second option and then i'm going to select edit selected there you go and then i'm going to close so we are now going to create our second option okay so for our second option same so i'm going to select the architecture let's create a roof by footprint again i'll just use the overhang here okay and then after that i'm gonna use again the uh, pick walls and then i'm going to start picking so this time i'm going to pick one by one so pick this pick i'm going to pick this as well and then this one here and then i'm going to use stream extend to corner because our lines our boundary it should be uh close no intersection and then no overlapping so make sure all the corners are closed no intersection no overlapping okay and then after that I'm going to select here modify to terminate the tool and then for this line here I'm going to select this and then I'm going to hold control I'm going to select this line here as well so I do not want to have a slope on these two lines here so that's why here on the options bar I'm gonna uncheck this so no slope now to these two lines here as you can see there is no slope symbol so once finish just select finish edit mode so that's my second uh, option now if I'm going to check the 3d view here this is now how it looks like so that's now our second option but it's not yet uh, finish okay because for our second option for our single ridge so i still need to add some elements so i'm gonna change my view to level one and then from level one i have here a group i'm going to drag and drop that and then i'm gonna pick place it here there you go and then select modify so let's check that one out again in 3d view so this is now how it looks like so this is now our second option so I'm gonna change my visual style to shaded detail view to fine detail level to fine okay so this is our second option 
Okay, so let's say we are now done here. So let's go back again to manage. Again, you can also click this icon here because that is also design options. So let's click this and then finish editing. There you go. Okay. Right. So as you can see, right after we finish editing, our model here becomes again the complex roof because the complex roof, that is our primary view. Okay, so that's why after we finish editing our uh, single ridge roof, our model here went back to complex roof. Why? Because that is our primary view. If I'm going to select the single ridge, I can actually make that primary. So if I select here, make primary, so you can see now that my single ridge is now my primary model. Right? So if I select here, complex, I can select that make primary and that's now how it looks like right so i'm now going to close this one okay now the next thing that we will be doing is what we want to do is we want all of these walls to be extended to our roof we want this to be closed right so we want all of this wall to be uh close so we are going to add uh, these components these walls to our uh, design option so how to do that okay so how to do that so what i'm going to do is from my uh, design option i'm going to edit my uh, complex primary design so i'm going to edit selected and then i'm going to close this okay and then after that there is an option here like uh, pick to edit so let's click this one let's try this option so it doesn't let us edit any elements okay so that's not the right option so let me just finish this one finish okay and then close there's actually here add to set okay so add to set so i'm gonna select this so i'm going to select here add to set okay so instead of selecting one by one because I want to set all of these walls to my design option 1 and my design option 2. So I can click one by one and then go to manage and then add to set. But instead of doing that, I'm going to hover my pointer like that. And then I'm going to press tab. And then I'm going to click. So now that I have selected all the walls, I'm going to select the manage here. And then from the design option, I'm going to select add to set. So let's click this. And then I'm going to add that to my complex roof and to my single ridge roof. So it's already checked, right? So I'll just need to select here, okay. There you go. So once you added these walls to your design option, so it's now time to go back again to design option. Let's select the complex and we're going to edit that once again. So edit selected and then close. And then as you can see, I can now select these walls tab and then click again hover your pointer do not click just hover your pointer like that to highlight the wall and then press tab once once it highlights you click and then let's attach that to the top base click and then click the roof and there you go so that's for our first option and then let's go to the design option let's finish editing now let's select single ridge and then edit selected and then close again hover your pointer without clicking just make sure it's highlighting the wall and then press tab once it highlights all the chain of walls you click to select all the walls again click attach top base and then you click the roof to attach to the roof there you go okay and then after that, don't forget to go to design option and then finish again. There you go. And then close it. Now we are going to create two 3D view for our design option. So on our 3D view here, so we only have one. Let's rename this one. Right click rename. Uh, let's call this uh, 3D complex. Enter. Right click. Oops. Right click duplicate duplicate 
right click rename this is our uh, 3d uh, single reach enter okay so this is our complex let us hide this level click right click hide in view and then category to hide the level i only want to see the 3d model so this is our complex and then i'm going to open the single ridge 3d so let's hide again right click hide category so as you can see it's still showing here my complex view right even though i am on the 3d single ridge view so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna open the visibility graphic overrides you can type vv and then you look for design options and then here i'm going to select single ridge for the roof and then okay and there you go okay so we now have our 3d complex and then our single ridge so that's it so that's how you, you create your design option so this is of course applicable to other discipline as well like mechanical electrical plumbing or you can create different options for stairs different options for the placement or arrangement of your tables appliance or roof okay so that's your design option so hopefully you learned something from this video thank you for watching have a nice day